my new studio. It's revealed in this video. We're gonna take you back in time and show you how we got this place looking the way it is with a huge help from Tony Pellicino from Florida Paints. So stay tuned. I am so excited to have our guest in studio today. Tony has a huge following on his social media and a great story. We're gonna hear from him what it was like to relocate to Orlando. So Tony, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me, Justin. The studio looks great. I mean, you were a big part of that. Tell us about this color. You picked this color out. Well, yeah, I knew you needed a darker color for your studio to create vibrance within the lighting and keep it subtle. So I went with the subway color from Florida Paints, kept it dark, kept it subtle. And that's what something I felt like really needed in the studio. But before we talk about it, let's just take you back in time and show you how we got here. Hey, there he is. Oh my gosh, I am so ready to get rid of these white walls. Was that on film? <laughs> Good times, you yes. know. Sometimes you got to throw on the overalls and do the work yourself. I never mind painting. I think it's actually pretty fun. I mean, I actually realized that I'm not that good of a painter. Huh? And I, I can't do the cutting in very well. So I actually hired somebody to finish it out. Did you really? Yes. <laughs> you know, I always actually say the toughest part of, pay, of painting is actually picking the colors. You know, whenever you go to the paint store to actually pick colors, there's like thousands of ones to choose from. So once you get that figured out, getting it up on the wall, I think that's that's probably the most satisfying part of it all. And what type of colors are you seeing picked? What are your top? Top three trending colors right now in houses. More common colors that are being picked by homeowners and home renovators are actually light grays, beiges, in between those, the grayages. It, everything is going very neutral for some reason. I believe it's a lot harder to redecorate or decorate the inside of your home with kind of vibrant color walls. But a little reason they're doing that as well is because those colors will actually go better with different color types of furniture, art. I can definitely confirm this. In the past few years, we've seen the color called agreeable gray and the grayages really come to light. What are your three trends you want to see happen in houses? Well, you know, being in Florida, the colors of homes are incredibly different than when you go up north or in the Midwest, right? I came down to Florida. I see houses that are coral, yellow, greens, blues, all kinds of crazy colors. So that's actually something that I'm super interested in exploring is how exterior homes in Florida, people are choosing their colors for their exterior homes. Well, especially here in Loria Park, the whimsical colors are very popular. As you drive through the streets of Lake Nona and Loria Park, we're starting to see some oranges and purples and, and greens. And, and I like to see that variety intermixed with all the homes so it doesn't get too boring in the neighborhood exactly I, I think it's awesome i'm a big fan of putting color into the world and that starts with homes and buildings so i think that's super cool that everyone has going on down here and i have to ask you have an interesting story of how you relocated here to central florida right. so tell us that story like i mentioned been in the paint industry for about three to four years as a sales associate i worked at sherwin williams previously for about three years and i actually had gotten fired for starting my own tiktok account for making paint mixing videos. I continued with my pages, kept on making the paint content since it, since it was something I really actually enjoyed doing, sharing with the world essentially the idea of color creation, interior design, just the, the satisfying process of the art of mixing paint. And so I kept rolling with it. Eventually the media had actually gotten a hold of my story of getting fired from Sherwin Williams. It was all over the news. And so a bunch of companies had reached out to me, a bunch of paint companies had reached out to me to do digital marketing, social media. And I actually landed down here in Orlando with Florida Paints to continue my uh, digital marketing career in the, in the industry. And they're a local company started out of Windermere, Florida, correct? Of course, yeah. They picked you up and you have now exploded with growth with all this cool content you're doing. I've been following your channel. Now, many of the people watching this channel are thinking of relocating to Orlando. So it's great to hear from someone that just did that. So Tony, what are your top five places you've enjoyed discovering as you move to Orlando? What I've realized about the city of Orlando is that there are abundant amount of places to eat, eat from. 
um, local restaurants specifically. There's a lot of uh, craft breweries. One of my favorite restaurants I have been to so far is Four Rivers Barbecue. I know that's a yes. big hot spot around here. Yep. They've um, grown real quick. They've got great barbecue. Oh, yeah. And then Lazy Moon Pizza over there on Colonial, I believe. Ginormous pieces of like uh, gourmet pizza. The Disney area. I've been to Epcot. That was super cool. I had actually never been to Florida prior moving here. And I know that's like the biggest reason to come is like the Disney Epcot. Right, right. So. You get your season pass and exactly. you go whenever you want. Exactly. So that was super cool. Disney Epcot. And actually here in Lake Nona, me and my friend had visited this restaurant called Veg and Out. It was an all vegetarian vegan restaurant with great smoothies, power bowls, all kinds of healthy choice options you can get. It was a really good experience experience there too. One more question, Tony, because I know you've been going out to different houses, looking at different paint color projects. What are the top three neighborhoods you've discovered that you would enjoy living in? Some of the most beautiful neighborhoods I've seen so far were in the Windermere area, gorgeous houses, beautiful lakes. That was something I really enjoyed. There was a few neighborhoods in the Apopka area that I had visited too. That almost seemed more of like a little quieter area. And Mount Dora as yes, well. Yes, yes, yes. Like beautiful homes. Quiet. It, not, it wasn't anything too crazy. Somewhere that I personally would enjoy living in because that's some, my kind of vibe there. I'm actually living in downtown Orlando. I like it there too, but definitely somewhere I a good place to start out for a person like myself moving to Orlando. Winter Park, College Park, all those areas were super cool too. More of like almost like a mini like outskirt city vibe over there kind of thing. So I like that area too. So Ohio or Florida, what's better? Florida, 100%. I mean, I liked Ohio, but you you realize there you run out of things to do out there. I actually have been exploring a little more of Florida too, like heading over to the Gulf Coast side for weekend getaways, beautiful waters over there. I've been meaning to check out the Daytona area, even head down to South Beach at some point. It's just cool being in the middle of a state where there's just so much happening. I can definitely agree with that. Tony has a store he works at here in Orlando where you can go get a custom color mixed just like I did. Tony, tell us where they can find you. I work at the Florida Paints All-American Boulevard location and that location, 3521 All-American Boulevard, Orlando, Florida. And be sure and follow this guy on TikTok, on YouTube. He's blowing up. He's got a huge following. And I really appreciate you coming in here and spending some time with us today, Tony. Thank you for having me, Justin. Uh, you know, I'm always happy to share my story and have conversations about my journey here and about the state of Florida. Paint and color is a real passion of mine. I believe that through social media and content marketing, it's a great way to show the world the importance of color and how it affects our daily activities, moods, and enrich people's lives. I mean, how often do you get a celebrity social media marketer like this to come actually help you paint your office. So thanks again, Tony. We're going to be doing more interviews like this with local residents of Orlando so you can figure out just what it's like to live in Orlando. Don't forget to subscribe, hit like, and we'll see you guys on the next video.